Language may not be suitable for young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Hi, this is Michaela, and welcome to my podcast, a personal blog that I will be bringing to life. Let me take you back to my entry in October 2008 when I wrote a little entry about how my husband and I met, struggled, loved, and lost. In this entry, you will hear nothing but good things about him. I would just like to keep it that way for the sake of our kids. Let me take this opportunity to thank Anchor for making my whole podcast experience easy and pleasant. You can drop a message or two on our Facebook page, Michaela on Podcast. I repeat, Michaela on Podcast. We'd love to hear from our listeners. Entry 12. A thank you. October 7, 2008. We thought this love would last for eternity. The joys, sorrows, pain, and hardships were nothing when we're together. We thought we can conquer the world with our crazy ideas and intimate bond. A lot of people thought we're a perfect pair. Literally, opposites attract. We thought, you thought, they thought. This has happened to one of the bars where my relatives had their gig. I jammed with the band. They listened. He entered the bar and sat with his pal. I got drunk. We were introduced. I just didn't bother for I knew he's going to be just another guy in the block who wouldn't care if I exist Come, sobriety will take its course. We started this unforgettable journey with a tissue paper, where I scribbled my number. I thought I wrote my mom's digits, but probably, because I was too drunk and happy, I might have written down my own. His friend picked it up and handed it to him. I thought it was just the end of the story. After the gig, we met outside the bar. I was waiting for my relatives when they approached me. I remembered I threw a sarcastic remark and walked away. Same with him and his friend. They walked in a different direction. Days after, my phone rang. I answered. He said, hello. Totally forgot him and his face. I did not even bother to ask my ate about him. But there he was calling to say hi. In a split second, I got all happy and excited, and for what? I did not even recognize him in any way. That's when I asked my ate about him. She thought he was cute and nice. I planned to even set him up with my cousin. But the plan didn't come as expected. We said to meet me near my house. We ate started to get to know each other, went on our first movie, it was Charlie's Angels 2, and headed home when we can't get enough talking. I did not know what hit me that day, but as the sun set, I started talking about my past, on how cruel I was with myself and my dark yesteryears. After spilling it out, I thought this was the end. It was a do-or-die situation. I was expecting not to see him after that. I knew that he will get all scared and run away, but he didn't. We met again. This time, I knew he was the one. The beat of the heart, the song that played in my ears, everything was so perfect. I know it was sudden, but we took the chance and I became a part of him. We both knew nobody liked the idea of how fast this was going, but we stood firm for what we believed. We were in love and we were willing to take the risk. We settled in a not-so-comfy little room and started our own little family with just him, 
and me. Adjustments were so huge. Fights and disagreements came out of nowhere. We lost our jobs, ended up without a penny in our pockets. We struggled to be able to eat and then pursued finding jobs once again. We were inseparable. Everyone thought we were about to give up, but they were wrong. Instead, we struggled for more until we were able to sustain our everyday needs. We got our jobs back and we bought a little something. A radio. He knows I love listening to music and news, so when we got our pays, we bought it. It was cheap, but I, it had a sentimental value. It was our first appliance together. We knew that somewhere along the way, someone or something will take us apart. So we decided to have a child and move to a better location where friends and families were always there to look out for us while he's at work. Money was scarce, but the joy of being together cannot be measured. We knew we were happy, contented, and wanted nothing else but to be with each other. A child was born, a face like his dad. After a while, we moved to a quiet neighborhood where we settled quietly with our friendly neighbors. We both had decent jobs, and we knew we can support a little better than before. We got our own things slowly. We forgot the closeness we had. We were buried with work. We fought a lot. We went out with friends more often than giving each other some quiet quality time. We had forgotten how in love we were and disregarded the past that we thought will not be forgotten. Little by little, we showed no affection. We blamed each other for all the mishaps. Couldn't even remember how we started off. The flame slowly died. Doubts, fears, and anger ate us slowly until we decided to stop. As I am writing this entry, I felt shame and anger. Why are we so weak? So selfish? Too busy biting our heads off? We did not even realize we had ruined the most beautiful of all. Love. We were eaten up with pride and we suddenly became thirsty for revenge. With that being said, our book was now closed. No more we. No more together. No more. As I end this chapter, I just want to thank this person whom I loved, respected, and adored. He may not be with me anymore, but deep in my heart, he has always been a part of me. I could never forget the things we shared or the sacrifices he made for us and how he was truly loved by a selfish person. That's me. Let me share this with you all. Anchor is a hosting platform that is easy to use and offers a lot at no cost. I use Anchor for my podcast. So far, it's been fun. With their unlimited hosting and easy-to-navigate tools, it's simple to start recording your show. And you can download the app for free. With Anchor, it's one step closer to having your very own show. Anchor, sign up now. This was written months after he chose to leave us. It was a bit difficult to take at first, but eventually, I learned to accept that we had to separate. I did my best not to talk ill about my husband, especially in front of the kids. I did not want them to think that they're the reason why he left or he's left because he just gave up. It was very traumatic for the kids and devastatingly hurtful that he chose to leave. I tried to ask him to stay and give our family another chance to work on a clean slate, but he chose a different way. Maybe he's just tired. He just didn't want to take any more responsibility. I just didn't know. Maybe he had a better life without us. I don't want to go into the details of the very reason why we split, 
All I know is that I have already given a chance before. I won't do the same anymore. Once I'm done, I'm done. I'm currently contented with what I currently have. My only focus is to provide for my kids and be there for them with or without a dad. As I've said, the book is now closed. No more us. No more getting back together. The end. That ends the first season of the show. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next Monday for season two. You can follow our Facebook page, Michaela on Podcast, to know more about which listening platforms our show is available to listen to. This podcast is created by me with Jabs for the sound and Monique for the artwork. Let's meet again next season, only here on Michaela.